take your thread fiber tape it on and come around the back to the front to the front that's one I'm gonna go five times to the front two three four five cut it off make a knot This should have formed a cross. The cross is extremely important. It's what makes all of your weaving possible. So tie your cross so that it can't disappear on you. Use a slip knot. Then tie both ends. No slip knots there. Take it off. Keep it stretched so you have tension. Take one pencil, slide it through the back. Another pencil, slide it through the front. You've still got your cross. Make a slip knot, cross over, pull it through, slide it over your pencil, pull it tight, and we'll pull this down. Then you're going to make a loop where it goes, this is under, this is over, slip it over the top, do another one, slip this back to the middle of the pencil, tape it. We need five loops. We have four here. Take your phone. It's about the right width. Slip a cord underneath it. Tie a nice knot. Slip it off. Trim your ends. Now we make our string pedal rod. Short pencil, about that long. Take one of your loops, which is going to be called a heddle, feed it under the first thread so that it makes a loop. Put your pencil through the loop. Take a rubber band, put it on there so it can't escape.
next string huddle. Next thread, keep the threads in order. piece of tape secures that. Tie your pencils together. With a slip knot. Cardboard shuttle works fine. This one is three and a half by an inch and a quarter. You tape your end down. Clip your end. Bring it through the hole. This way when you drop it, which you will, it won't unravel. When you need more thread, if you take the thread off over the top, you will get a knot. Take it off from the bottom, the side opposite the hole. No knot. String heddle goes on the bottom doorknob or anything that's nice and secure, tie it up so it won't come off. Put some tension on your threads and take the restraints off of there. And you can take the divider out of the middle Little bit of tension, push the back one up, pull up on the front. You should have five threads up, five threads down. Pass your shuttle through, leave a tail about four inches, bring them together, lean forward, and pull. Pass your shuttle through. Bring your tail back through. That'll lock it in. Tighten them up. One in the back goes away from you. Lean forward, pull up. Beat just a little bit. Turn this upright. Pass your shuttle through. Hold on to the loop, bring it back, pinch, and pull. Now we bring the back one forward, lean forward, pull up, finger can work as a bead or two, but I like to pack it in nice and tight. Pass your shuttle through, keep hold of the loop, bring it in and back towards you. You don't have to tug hard, but tug a little bit. Pinch and pull. And again, push the back one away from you, lean forward, pull up, 
I'll use the other one this time. Bring it down, beat. If you turn it on edge, it opens your shed for you. The shed is what we call our opening here. Keep hold of that little end. Both of them together, lean forward, pull up on the back one. Be sure you're going through from the correct side. Bring it through, catch your loop, pull it back. This is what's going to help you to control the width and keep the sides nice and even. Push away, lean forward, pull up, beat. Pass the shuttle through, catch your loop, bring it back, pinch, pull up on the back, open your shed, shuttle through, hold back a loop, bring them towards you, pinch, and pull. Push that one away. Lean forward, pull up, shuttle through, catch the loop, pull back, pinch, pull. This one forward, lean forward, pull up, open the shed, shuttle through, Hold back a loop, lean back, pull back, pinch, and pull. Okay, to finish, we're going to take another thread and make a loop. We're going to be doing two more rows. So push this through your shed yeah, so that the loop is on the side that your thread is currently on. And mine is over here. And then pass your shuttle through like you normally do. Bring it back, pinch, pull it closed. Now open your opposite shed. Lean forward, pull up, open it up, pack it a little bit. When you're working on little projects like this, your fingers work great as a beater. When you get into bigger things, you will need a beater, but a ruler works very well for that. Bring it through, pull it back, close. Then all you have to do is take your scissors and trim it off. And you can see here we brought the loop through, went through, chain sheds came back through, and then you're just going to put this through the loop, not all the way, and then pull, and it will bring it right on through and lock the thread in. And I like to just pack it a little bit more. And you're done. Remove it from the wall and rem or yeah the wall and your belt and tie an overhand knot in either side right up next to your weaving and you're all done.